Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome on Top Fishing Videos. I'm David. So, you're in the right place if you like fishing and fishing videos. So, before watching this one, don't forget to subscribe and tick the bell. So, see you after this video. Now, let's watch. and my complete guide to fishing in Ark Survival Evolved. So one of the newer items we can use to gather fish is the trapped basket that was available to us when the aberration map came out. Um, this tool is used to tame fish rather than catch them for meat. And also with the Genesis up and coming expansion, there will be the fishing net that's added at a lower level, we don't know which level yet, uh, but that the developers have confirmed is only going to be used for gathering fish and not actually going for the loot and the blueprints like we are. And lastly, um, although you can craft the fishing rod quite early on, in order to find a better quality fishing rod, um, you will need to hunt the ocean for the alphas. I know that the Alpha Tussos can drop them fairly often and occasionally the Alpha Moses can as well. So if you want to get a better quality fishing rod then you're really going to need to be hunting the ocean for the Alpha Dinosaurs. So there are the few different types of tools that we're going to be able to use but today we're going to be concentrating on fishing with the fishing rod because that's how we get our blueprints and uh, I'm going to use the boat as well. So what we're going to do here is, uh, firstly I'm going to take out my boat um, and this is one of my favourite ways to fish, especially on the island map because on my boat I have a uh, preserving bin and I also have the fire to cook any of the prime fish meat that we get as well. So we're going to take this boat out and um, we're going to go out to the stony shore, it's a good place to fish. Okay, so I'm just swapping the honey round on my fishing rod. This is a way to actually restart the spoil timer on the honey if you just swap them all round. And uh, I've bought some leech blood and some sap with us as well. Uh, but we're going to use the honey because the honey attracts the fish the quickest. So that's definitely the best bait you can use. But um, earlier on, um, leech blood is quite easy to get near the swamp. So I oh, just consumed the honey for some reason there. But um, one of the reasons I like to bring the boat along is you can, of course, move it to where the fish are. Um, but I will add, if you see any otters or hesperonosis or any of the dinos that do feed on fish, kill them off. Otherwise, they will deplete the stock in your immediate area. Okay, so we have our first bite here. And uh, as you see at the top of the screen, we've got a timer. And at the bottom, we've got to press the corresponding letters on the keyboard just for this mini game. And we've called a solar camp. Or almost got a solar camp. And. Yeah, we got it in time. And that's given us a primitive pike blueprint. So, not a bad blueprint to have got early on. And again, this is why I like to take the boat because the prime fish meat we can just cook off quite quickly. Have another go and see what else we can find in this area. But that was not bad for our first try. I was going to go for it straight away then. Again, another solar cleanse. Quite a low level one, so we won't get much for this. Uh, we're going to move on to another one of my favourite fishing spots now, in the Redwoods. Okay, so we've moved on to the Redwood biome, and there's a little pond that has plenty of fish, and we've got a coal camp on the line already. I only cast it out just a second ago, so it looks like a reasonable size one. 
And the cold country are easier to catch than the saber tooth and the piranha. Well, good blueprints there. We got a Procoptodon saddle and a journeyman assault rifle blueprint. Okay, so this time we got a saber tooth bite in the line, and uh, we get a little bit less time there, and we've got a bigger chance of escaping. Okay, not bad. And we've got apprentice and apprentice carno saddle. So yeah, not not bad loot to be had within the redwood biome and this lake. And uh, we're still getting our prime fish meat. And I'm just going to swap these honeys round on the rod because we don't want the timer to expire on them. That's one of the things, not having the preserving bin near and just setting up with a chair. But, um, let's have another cast off and I think this time we'll do, um, we'll do the leech blood and see how that goes. Okay, got another bite. Looks like another saber tooth. And I say this is a really good area to fish. I find it quite consistent for the fish. And that time, just some fish meat. Okay, so we've had a few tries now. Um, I've got a few different blueprints, but I want to try out um, now one of the caves. And uh, we're going to go for the artifact of the clever cave. Okay, so we just cleared out the cave here, and we're just going to come down to this water's edge. Now this area is infested with piranha, and I do know at the bottom here a loot crate usually spawns, but I don't tend to go for it. I tend to find it uh, uh, does more harm than good trying to go for it, but let's set up a chair on the edge. And of course, if you are playing on um, an official server, there is no building in caves, so this is only going to be allowed if you've allowed building in caves. Which is kind of one of the unfortunate things about needing to have the seat and the rod. But nonetheless, we will test and see whether gathering rates are better inside the cave. Okay, so we finally got a bite, and I think I've been waiting well over five minutes for this one. And that's with honey. A ramshackle megalosaurus saddle, that's not too bad, along with a, a few other little bits here, rhino's horn and some um, fish meat, but uh, I was waiting quite a long time for that one, so let's have another go and uh, see how long it takes this time. Okay, as you can see here, we've got, a, we've got a bite, and I've attracted a load of the piranha. I only just stepped in the water for a second, so you can see how many piranha are here. Um, but it is still taking a long time for them to bite. And again, only got fish meat back for that one. So, I'd have to say that, so far, no matter whether we use the honey or the leech blood, that the cave is indeed not a great place to farm for blueprints and uh, go fishing. Okay, so we're back and um, we've had a few hours out fishing. We've tried a few different places. Uh, I have to say that the cave was probably the least successful for all of the fishing route, but uh, we did get a few good items um, from from fishing over the last couple of hours and it hasn't cost much and we've got to play the mini games. So we managed to get a primitive pike um, journeyman assault rifle blueprints, not too bad. Procoptodon saddle, Carno saddle. Um, we got a Mastercraft and a journeyman uh, compound bow. And uh, yeah, there was a few other bits and pieces as well that we that we grabbed as well, pearls and just other bit. In some cases, actually, we got some leech blood back. So loot fishing for loot in Ark Survival Evolved is definitely something you should try and uh, quite early on I found more often than not that uh, I found the best scuba 
blueprints and uh, I've also found some good RG saddles quite a lot so I certainly recommend giving fishing a try it just requires some some patience don't forget you can easily farm for leech blood as well just out near the swamp biome and um, yeah it's just one of those little mini games that does require some patience but there is a payoff for it in the end until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you So thanks for watching this fishing video. Before leaving, don't forget to subscribe, take the bell, and put a thumbs up. See you. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.